How's it going everybody? Ben from Base Set Mule here. First video under the new name and it is my Twilight Masquerade unboxing. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this opening and get this box ripped open. Man oh man, I'm actually pretty excited about this set because in my opinion this is very very similar to Temporal Forces. As the pulls that you can potentially get in here are actually really good. Um, one thing I wanted to do though, I wanted to make it like a little bit of a battle. So we do, we do the right side and we do the left side. And then the booster box can go right here. And then we're gonna see which side will give us the best pull. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the left side. Lots of packs to unbox as per usual with these big English booster boxes. I don't open them that often, but when I do, I'm still astonished by how many cards are in here. So, we do have quite a bit of time to talk about things, not just this expansion, since we do have 36 booster packs to open. Let's see what we can- Whoa, the Infernape right in the first booster pack! This is a really, really cool illustration rare. Yo, okay. So, out of the illustration rares, I actually haven't looked at them. Okay, so we have the first pull here on this side. Let's see if the right side can put even. So I did actually look at the special illustration rares for this set, but not the art rares or illustration rares. So I have no idea what art rares we can potentially pull. I have seen the Infernape before though, and that is a really, really cool one, so I'm happy about that pull. Um, we'll see if we do get a special illustration rare. I don't know the pull rates for this set in particular. So I have heard that the pull rates ever since Temporal Forces have gone down. We'll see if that's the case with Twilight Masquerade as well. So far though, out of all the Scarlet and Violet main sets, not the special sets, we don't talk about Paldean Fates, I have pulled a special illustration rare out of every single one. We'll see if this will be the first set where I don't pull one, or if I continue to pull one. I would like the latter. You know, continuing to pull some special illustration rares. Speaking of special illustration rares, there are a lot of good ones in here. Like between, let's just talk about the, the trainers first, before we talk about the Pokemon. So in terms of trainers, I don't think he can miss. If you pull a full art trainer, special illustration rare full art trainer, in this set you're gonna be happy. Because all of them, that's a really cool looking Glaceon, man. That's really cool looking, nice. So out of the full art trainers, potential special illustrations that you can pull out of this set, every single one would be a hit. Because you have the Kieran, which is really cool. You have the Perrin, which is incredibly cool. That's the one I want to get. And you have the, uh, what we call it, the Carmine, which is absolutely stunning in my opinion. Really, really love the food as well. And you have Lana. I think out of the, if I had to put them in order from most to least, why don't I put the the Carmine on top, then the Perrin, then the Kieran, and then last would be the Lana. Still though, all of them are, are bangers though. And then we have, yo, okay, our first pull, Iron Thorns EX, very nice. Our first pull on the right side, I hope I'm doing the sides correctly and not just mixing them up. Okay, a quick count may or may not have confirmed that I'm doing it correctly, so let's do the left side next and see if we can we can go even. I don't know how much the Infernape is. Once again, I don't really care about the values of most cards unless I actually have to buy them. Um, but for the sake of this video, you know, just to get a little bit of fun out of these big booster box openings, we're gonna make a kind of quote-unquote pack battle out of it. So we'll see which side will win. Goldeen. And an Infernape, fitting to the art rare or illustration rare, I keep mixing them up the names. Still don't know which one is which. I think the illustration rare is the English term, yeah, yeah it is, it is. And then the art rare is the Japanese term. Why do I still use the Japanese term? I haven't opened a Japanese booster box in very, very long. I haven't opened one in very long. Although, no, that's not true. I've opened a, um, whatchamacallit, Shiny Treasure EX box. So I was I was a little bit lying there, sorry. Ariados, Swirlix, and a holographic Heatran. Really cool looking Heatran. Illustrated by, of course, Mitsui. Oh not Mitsui, right? Um Akira Igawa, one of my favorite artists. Alright, I have to keep paying attention which side I take the pack from. So I don't lose track of them. There are a lot of packs, so it's easy to lose track. 
but we shall see what we can find in this one. This one is gonna have a special illustration rarity, and I can already tell. I can feel it in me bones. Just watch. Just watch. Let's see. Right after this one, right after this one. No, it's just an Anamorus. Hey, it is a pull, though. It is a Dragapult EX, not too shabby. Very, very nice. That goes on this side. If I do somehow put a, a card on the wrong side, though, I will point it out in editing, probably. So, okay, we already opened that one. See, it's easy to tell because I just got a pull. Let's open this one. All right. So, let's talk a bit, a bit about the upcoming videos, I suppose. Um, I have planned a few more Japanese, or not Japanese, uh, Chinese openings. And one of which being, nice, one of which being the, um, the fat boxes for um, Nine Colors Gathering. You know, the Japanese set where I accidentally bought the wrong box. Still pulled the cool Elisa. But the fat boxes um, do contain a promised super rare. So you're promised that I'm going to be opening that. And I'm also going to be opening a really, really cool product that I think recently came out for, for the um, Pokemon China TCG. That's a really cool looking Abra. Yo, check this one out. That's really cool illustrated. Nice. Really cool product. And there's also an upcoming, an upcoming, what should we call it? An upcoming set in, in China. Or Canine. Which I'm also going to be opening. I'm also going to be opening that one when it becomes available. I think it should be towards the end of, um, what we call it, towards the end of um, June. I'm really excited about this. I do like um, Chinese cards. I said it so many times before, and I do really, really love them. Let's see what we can find in this booster pack right here, though. English booster pack. Come on. Special illustration rare. I'm praying for just any special illustration rare. Because the pull rates, I don't know if it's the same as Temporal Forces, where the pull rates are going to get worse as time moves on. I think they might, because honestly, honestly, I think they might make the um, the pull rates worse. I don't want to say on purpose, because that sounds like a conspiracy theory, but it doesn't make sense. If you look at the pull rates for like Sword and Shield sets, like alternate arts, compared to pull rates like even in Temporal Forces, which... So far, I think might be the worst Sword and Shield or Scarlet and Violet set in terms of pull rates, although Paltain Fates might be worse. It's still way better than it was during the Sword and Shield era. And you do have multiple spots, so this spot could be a special illustration rare. This one could be one, and I think this could also be one, although I'm not 100% on that one. So you have way more chances to actually pull a special illustration rare in the Scarlet and Violet sets. So maybe that makes it a bit easier. Honestly, though, I do like the, the easier pull rates, that's for sure. That is for sure. Don't want to be spending like a thousand dollars on an alternate art, like the um, <clears throat> Umbreon, for example. That's a cool illustration. Man, most of these illustrations are really, really cool. Dang. Got a Halucha and an Iron Leaf's holographic. So far, the pulls are kind of missing. Are we going to pull anything? We have pulled four things, two of which are really, really cool. The Iron Thorns and the Infernape. The Infernape, probably the highlight for now. We'll see if this will change with this booster pack right here. We got a Timber Aaron. We got a Spinarak Sand Shrew. Lucky Helmet. Mighty Yena, that's by Kavayo. Reverum, Boomerang Energy. Yo, Sunflora! This is also a really, really cool one. Check this one out. Yo, okay. That looks really, really nice. It kind of puts me at ease. I don't know why. Um, I think that came from this site. Although, if I did it wrong, then editing me is going to have a field day and call myself all kinds of awful names and things, maybe. Okay. Well, well, well. Let's see. Let's see. So I've opened a pack from this side. I think I have to open two more from this. I think I'll open more from that side. Um, we'll see if we do pull a special illustration rare. So I think one thing that I haven't talked about yet, maybe I've been trying to avoid it, um, the name change of the channel. You know, previously budget Pokemon, now it's base set Mew. I kind of wanted a more memorable channel name, if that makes sense. 
and also a channel name that might help with discovery a bit more than just budget Pokemon. Because whenever I searched my name, or even videos, nothing was coming up. So, well, if you search budget Pokemon, you find like budget decks and budget cards. Uh, videos that I do, videos that I did, none of the videos of me though on the front page. So, that's that's like one of the reasons and also, you know, if I do someday, I don't know, <laughs> if I do someday get a little bit bigger, then the name budget Pokemon might cause some issues, since so it does feature the name Pokemon in it itself. So maybe that will cause some troubles legally. Let's open one more from this side, and I think we're even. Let's see what we can pull here. So that was the main reason for the name change. As I said though in the announcement, or as I wrote in written in the announcement, can't speak English apparently, um, the videos will still be the same. I'll still do budget collecting videos since I do love doing those. I do love showing off cards that are actually affordable, you know. Don't want you to spend a thousand dollars on an Umbreon. That's gonna be, that's way too much for an Umbreon. I honestly, I don't know if they're ever gonna reprint Evolving Skies again. They did reprint Evolving Skies a few times, I'm pretty sure. But I think out of all the times that they did reprint it, none of the stock was like... They didn't print enough, I feel like. Like, all the stock that they did print was very quickly sold out. I mean, rightfully so, Evolving Skies is actually a pretty good set if you think about... Well, if you think about the potential pulls. Shouldn't approach a set about the potential pulls. Because you're not gonna pull anything. You buy an Evolving Skies booster box right now, most likely you're not gonna pull anything. So... But in terms of the cards in there itself, though, it is an incredible set. I mean, yeah, the Umbreon, that's the one you really want to pull. But there is tons of other really, really cool cards. Also very affordable cards in terms of alternate arts, like the Golurk. I've mentioned it a couple of times on the channel now. Really, really cool card. Let's see. Here we have another pull. The Cornerstone Mask Ogre Pawn EX. Very nice. I hope I'm putting this on the right side. If not, once again, editing me is gonna have a field day, and I'll be sure to point it out in editing. Let's open one of these next. One of these. I think, once again, nothing is promised in English booster boxes. It's all randomly seeded. But I think generally, like uh, from personal experience and everything, we should expect one more um, illustration rare at the least. And then hopefully a special illustration rare. I pulled out a bunch of cards there. Girder and an Alakazam. Nothing here yet. Maybe it's just me. Or maybe it's just me because I haven't opened an English booster box in so long. But for the amount of packs we've opened so far, we've gotten very little hits. Is that just me? Or am I, am I like tripping? Or, I don't know, it just feels like we've hit very, very few actual cards. I think we should still be promised one or two ace spec cards in here as well. I do think this set also features ace spec cards. Let's see, well, speaking of illustration rare, here is the Probo Pass. Another really, really cool one in my opinion. Yeah, that looks really, really nice. That looks really nice. Let's see. And a Ting Lu. What? I hope that's the right side. I really, really do. If not, then this was all for nothing. If I put the cards on the wrong side, it was all for nothing. Man, I should really be paying attention, but I'm just so excited to rip this open. Just rip this set open. Let's see. Come on, special illustration rare. Any at this point. I'd even take an ogre pawn. Um, oh, I haven't actually mentioned that. I don't know if I mentioned it or not. Um, the Pokemon Special Illustration. There is the Ace Spec card. Legacy Energy. Unfortunately, I'm not too into playing, so I don't know how good or bad this, this Ace Spec is. But it is an Ace Spec nonetheless. I think that came from this side. And we have the, the Zapdos. Maybe this was all for nothing. Maybe this was all for nothing. Okay, so I'm opening a pack from the left side. 
So we must put the pole, if there is any in here, on the left side. Maybe I should have done one side first, but that would have been too boring. Anyways, it's just in good fun. It's not an, a real pack battle that the videos that I usually do. Nice looking Chansey, Kilowatt Roll, Brute Bonnet. Here's the other A spec. Let's see. Survival Brace. Okay. We've got our two Ace spec cards. Let me put that right down here. And we have the Kadabra and the Alakazam. Nice. We have the full evol evolution line now. We did pull an Abra earlier. Let's see what else we can get here. Come on, special illustration rare. This pack is going to have a special illustration rare in it. I can already tell. I can feel it. Let's just pull away these commons and uncommon cards. And then we're going to see. Right after this one is the special illustration rare. No, come on. Come on. Animorous rare. And here is the code card. There you go. There you go. I've actually been thinking about getting more into into TCG life, honestly. I do kind of really want to play the game. I don't want to spend cards or I don't want to spend money on a deck and play like in person. There aren't a whole lot of events, um, events around me anyways. So I'd much rather do it on TCG life. And well, we'll see if I do 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 that. I do want to play, play the game more than just collect. Let's see, Jamming Tower, we've got a Litwick, and we've got a Luxray EX, very, very nice. I mean, at this point, I'm just putting the cards where I think they go. I don't know if it's actually the right spot. I don't know if that's actually the right spot or not. Man, okay, I wonder, I wonder, I'll check it in editing, of course. I wonder if I actually managed to put every single card in the right spot without pay paying attention. That would be pretty cool, Ray. That would be pretty cool. Let's see what we can find in this booster pack here, though. Reverum. We've got an Ogre Mask. We've got an Illumise. Leiron. And just a Hizuian Arcanine. Holographic Rare. Really cool looking one. But still a holographic nonetheless. Just a holographic. We're getting towards the end, the one. I'm kind of getting worried. Not only for the maybe special illustration rare, but also for the pull rates in general. And I mean, we did get our three um, illustration rares. We did get our two ace spec cards. But for some reason, it still feels like so little pulls. I mean, we still have a few packs left. So maybe there's still something to be had here. Probably a few normal EX cards. That should be almost a given, maybe. We've only gotten four so far. We shall see. We shall see. All right, let's open up this one. I do believe, though, as I've previously stated, they have reduced the pull rates. Or they will reduce the pull rates to... They will continue to reduce the pull rates. There we go. Proper English, please. They started with Tempora Forces, and it's only going to get worse. I think. I hope I'm wrong. Dear God, I hope I'm wrong. Oh, and that was two cards there. Not to worry, though. There's just a holographic in this booster pack, so it's not like we missed anything in this one. Let's see. So we have five booster packs on this side. Oh, and three booster packs on this side. Okay. I think the Luxray might actually go in this spot then. We'll see if I did it right. We'll see. We shall see. Righty on. Okay, snow runt, chilling. Snow runt, chilling. Yeah, that fits. Chilling in the snow. Scoliopede. We've got a buck catching set. An A palm. We've got a handheld fan. Girafaric. And we've got a heart flame mask ogre pawn EX. Here we go. That's a pull that I was expecting. Okay, so we did open it on this side. I'm pretty sure we opened it on this side, since we do have a few more packs on here. Right on. Well, now I'm kind of a little bit relieved that we did get another pull right here, one of these. Don't know what that means. We got like two quote-unquote full arts. Don't know if that means there is no special illustration around here, although I've had boxes, not from this set specifically, from like other sets, where I also pulled like two or three full arts. And then a special illustration rare in addition. 
I mean for, for the last set, Temporal Forces. I did open the Morty's Conviction in the second booster pack of all things. That was definitely a relief. Brookie and a Chandler. Yeah, so opening the Morty's Conviction in the second pack was definitely a relief. Since that was the first set where people mentioned, wait, the pull rates might actually be horrible. Come on. I really just want to pull one special illustration rare out of out of any set and then I'll just pick up the singles whenever they're cheap enough. But that itch, you know, that itch to pull a special illustration rare out of one of these sets. It's just there, man. It's just there, man. That I still have to do that for Paul Day and Fates though, too. I did luckily pull the Bubble Mew from Shiny Treasure EX, the Japanese equivalent. So I'm not like like have zero special illustration whereas from that special set in particular still would like to pull one in english preferably will be the charizard actually the charizard is really really cool but let's first open this pack up i haven't planned to open any more paldean fates as of right now so no worries there rev room and a mccargo ex okay there we go now the pulls are coming in Let's keep him going, keep him going, keep him coming. Let's see, four booster packs left. Can we pull a special illustration round? Now looking at the pull so this looks more like what I'm used to. Maybe still a little bit less, but honestly, this is way better than it was a few packs earlier. Let's see, Floet, Sun Curran. We've got an Abra, got a Tat. Tatsurigi. That looks really cool. I hope I'm pronouncing it. Tats Tatsugiri. There we go. That looks kind of cool. There is an illustration rare of this card. I've seen that on, on Twitter. And that also looks pretty cool. I don't know if you can pull it in this one. I don't know. Here we go. Scream Tail EX. Now the pulls are coming in. Just normal EX cards. But hey, this is what I was expecting. Okay. Okay. Now the pulls are coming in. Three packs left. Three packs left. Let me actually, for these last few packs, show off the code card immediately and show off the energy. There you go. And then we're going to do it like this right here. Dreepy, Sandy Gast, Feebas. While we still have a little bit of time left, um, I really do want a few other Pokemon to get a special illustration rare this year. One of which being Flygon for sure. Man, Flygon was completely completely disregarded ever since like even for the mega evolution there was a concept for the mega evolution i'm pretty sure but then they chose salamance instead and then just said no flygon you're not gonna get anything ah it sucks i really do like flygon and i hope flygon gets some some justice this year or maybe even next year i don't know they said that mega evolutions were returning so maybe that's something for Flygon. If not in card form, then please at least in the video game form. Give Flygon the well-deserved Mega Evolution. Let's see, Kieran. We've got a Dormanitan. And we've got a Holographic Anamorous. Okay. We're down to the last pack. And I'm thinking I'm, I'm losing hope that we would get a special illustration rare. But we'll see. Hopefully I can be proven wrong. Some last pack magic. Some last pack magic. Just lift off the code card. There you go. Lift off the energy. There you go. And then we're going to see if there's anything in here or not. We've got a Corfish. We've got a Grookey. We've got a Finizen. Watchroll. Kilo Watchroll. Kind of fitting. We've got a Brute Bonnet. We've got... Oh, there is a second card there. We've got an Apollin. We've got just a reverse, and we have a holographic. Okay, so the first main set where I did not pull a special illustration rare. But all in all, though, especially with these illustration rares in themselves, I'm still pretty happy. The Infernape is really cool, and so is the Sunflora. The Probo Pass, I'm kind of like torn in between. I think it's still pretty cool. So there we go. That's the opening. Okay, so to the surprise of no one, I actually did it wrong. Some of the cards were in the wrong spot. As you can see right here, I did take a picture with all the cards in the correct spot. And the prices underneath 
Looks like the left side one. Although keep in mind, these are prices like right on release day. They will come down by a lot, so this really doesn't mean anything. Still though, here we are and now on with the ending of the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, then a like would be greatly appreciated. If you didn't, then give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix it for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button. Click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Take care.